Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now with Halloween and with everything going on this year, Halloween's obviously coming up and it's going to be a bit different. We're going to have to do things a bit different to how we normally do them. So what I'm going to do for Phoebe this year is make up a Halloween gift basket and also a little bag of treats as well. So maybe if you're looking at what you can do, this might give you a bit of an idea. So most of the items that I bought were from Poundland and I think I've got some bits from Home Bargains as well. But to start with, I picked up one of these baskets. Now, the reason I bought this one is we can use it again. And they had, and obviously I picked the black because it was Halloween-y colours. They had like round ones, but I thought they'd be quite difficult to kind of store and keep neat. So I picked up this size. We can use that one again. And then I bought various different bits that she can use for a costume. So what I'm going to do is to give her this in the morning. And then later on, when she's dressed up, I'll give her the treat bag. So again, I think most of these things were from Poundland. So I bought her this kind of flower headdress because she wants to be like um, a spooky doll or something like that. So I picked that up. I also bought one of these long wigs, a long black wig. I thought that would be different to her normal hair. So that would be quite cool. Just trying to think not to fall over. I bought her a pumpkin carving kit. That looks quite good because it looks like it's got a bit of a stronger knife there. Obviously, you need to supervise the little ones when they're doing these. And this is some, or here, we've got some pumpkin teeth. Sometimes the teeth are really hard to kind of cut out. So what you do is you cut a big hole and then you just stick the teeth in. But it'd have to be quite a big hole because there's some proper hefty teeth in there. I also bought some of these face gems. And they're all connected together, so it's literally just a case of peeling them off and then just sticking them on. And I think Courtney will probably help with her makeup because she normally does. I bought one of these ghosts. They light up. If I just do that, you can see. I just thought she'd quite like that. It's quite sweet, isn't it? And it colour changes as well. For the basket, to decorate the basket, we're going to decorate it with some of these ghost lights. They just take two AA batteries. But they'd be nice because they can go around the basket and we can also use them afterwards as well. And I also found this lace choker. I thought that would look quite cool. I like that anyway. And I thought that would be a nice little addition and we can just get her something black or something to wear and go with it. So they're the contents for the gift basket. We'll make that together and then I'll just show you the treat bag as well. Right, so we'll start and build the basket now. Now I've got some tissue paper. I've got some black tissue paper, which I'm going to pop in the bottom. But it doesn't matter if you haven't got any. They will stand up without them. So I'm just going to scrunch this up. There we go. And sometimes the tissue paper helps hold things where you put them. It kind of makes them sit a little bit nicer. So we'll start and assemble the basket now. And as a bit of a tip, I tend to put the larger things at the back. So you can sort of work at a point and come down, depending on what other items you've got. I mean, say, for instance, the pumpkin carving kit is the biggest. So I'll put that there and I'm sort of going to work down, if that makes sense got the wig as well and then I'll probably put this maybe here so do it so you can sort of see what's in it and maybe this here I might leave that so that's out at the moment so I think that looks pretty cool we've got some of the gems pop that in the choker and then pop the ghost in as well the ghost could kind of go at the front. I think that would look really sweet. So if you wanted to do it so you did just one basket and one kind of hamper, you can put the bits in that they're going to be using throughout the day. And you could also put maybe just some sweets in there as well if that's what you wanted to do. And then that would be all finished. So you don't have to do two separate things. And I haven't actually spent any more money than what I would have done. I would have bought these bits for her anyway to do whether we were trick-or-treating or not but it's nice I think to wrap them up because it just makes it a little bit more special so just by going to the you know the trouble of getting a basket and some sallow wrap it just makes it look a lot nicer so we've got the ghost lights there and they're just they just take two AA batteries a ghost has fell off already and what I'm going to do is put them around the edge of the basket so I just thought they'd look quite nice and quite spooky so if you can see there they just light up 
so all I'm going to do I need to put that one back on is just sort of drape them around they go that way around the edge here once I've put this on and then we'll wrap this all up and that's this ready but you see how like quickly it is to put together it takes no time at all right so I've just sort of twisted them round also keep this at the side hidden but what you'll need to do is to be able to leave enough room in the side of the cello wrap to be able to switch the lights on and off because obviously you don't want to leave them on all the time just switch them on when you give the gift basket now wrapping up wise cello wrap is the easiest thing to use you can buy this from poundland as well they sell these rolls it's not super thick and it's not extremely wide so really it would be easier if it was a lot wider because we could fold the so we wouldn't have to fold the corners in we could just pull them up but this is the stuff that they have here so this is the stuff that i'll use just to show you you can also use ribbon and things like that maybe to tie the top i've got these pull bows and I've had these for ages. I've got a black one. I mean, I didn't think I'd ever get to use this black one. I've got quite a few of them. And for obviously for Halloween, it's absolutely perfect. So if you if you look on eBay, if you want some of them, you can get those. And I know that the craft shops in Clandon know sell them as well. So if you're popping over there, you could... I don't know what colours they've got, but I know they do sell them. So all you have to do with them is literally pull the ribbon like that and it just gives you an instant bow and then you just tie that part just to secure it just so it doesn't all come undone and then generally what I do if I can just find some scissors from somewhere is this long string bit I just cut that off save these because I use these when I'm wrapping it round and then we'll put the bow round at the end so you get your cello wrap it needs to be wider than it is really it's not wide enough if it was we could just pull it straight up but we can fold the corners over that will be fine so i'll just cut a piece off i've, I've probably cut off more than than i need because it's really easier to cut it off than it is to stick it back on so just pop your basket in the middle but you'll see how just by wrapping something up makes it look a lot nicer and a much nicer gift so just grab the top and then these bits we can just we can just fold these bits in and put some tape because they're not long enough just to grab and pull up that way right I'm just going to move the camera so you can see what I'm doing at the top right so this is the top part so you grab like that and you get yourself your bits of ribbon that you cut off off the bow and then just wrap that around the top like that now you can curl these bits let me grab my scissors again and you get your thumb and your finger and the scissors and you pull it like that and then that just gives you the curl but you have to make sure you do it the same way that the ribbon bends otherwise it won't curl and you just straighten that up a little bit you can put this extra bit on if you want some extra curls. Let me put that on just to show you. Just stick that on there. And then just curl these. So if you didn't have any pull bows, you could just put normal ribbon on. That would be fine. It's all static -y. And then you get your bow. You pulled. And then this part here is the bit that goes around the present and you can tie it at the back but what I tend to do is to pull them around the front go underneath and then tie a couple of knots and then we twist or curl should I say these bits here and if you wanted to you could put a tag on you could make like some Halloween -y tags and put those on now at the top I'm just going to pull the camera up slightly a bit more. You can see that the cello wrap kind of ends in a block. So what I tend to do is to pull it nice and straight so you can see what's happening and where it's all going. And then I cut at an angle. So I think it looks nice and not dead straight. So it doesn't matter where you go from. I tend to cut at an angle and 
do it so it goes up to a point because I just think that it just looks a lot nicer when you kind of do it that way so that's that part now the side bits I'll just move the camera down there we go so these side bits if you had a bigger piece of cello wrap you wouldn't have to do this but all you need to do is to just fold the sides in so get yourself some sticky tape and just tape them obviously you need to leave a gap so you can put your hand in to switch the lights off but I'm going to leave it for now just for the sake of showing you guys so just tape those round and you won't see so it won't be too bad and I'll just tape this side down and then that's the basket finished there we go so that's it finished so there may be no trick-or-treating this year but she's not going to miss out so it's a shame for the kids to miss out so that's that all done I'll just push that to one side and I'll bring the bits in for the bags so this is the trick-or-treat bag that I've got they they've got loads of things in there they've got little bowls and felt back there bucket type things you know there's loads and loads of stuff so you know you don't just have to use the bag but I just thought that looked really really cute and I'm going to put the torch projector in so it's just like a little bag of a few goodies really I'll put the unicorn wand in if you've got anything like sticker books puzzle books anything like that they could sit and do those you know in the day or in the night it just depends what age they are really so they'd be quite quite sweet to put in I'm just going to put her sweets and her chocolate in and that I think is brilliant because there's some bits in there to keep her occupied and she's got some treats in there as well so I mean how easy was that to do so it's just a shame that the kids are going to miss out and hopefully if you can do sort of little bits and pieces like this they won't you know they won't have to miss out so is that going to stand up possibly not so that's it so I hope you can adapt and I'll just lay it down I'll give up I hope you can adapt and sort of change to suit the conditions because obviously we can't let this beat us so we just have to carry on the best we can so that's it for me i hope you're all okay and i wish you a very happy and safe halloween you take care bye for now